Hey, what up folks? Jesse here with Southern Reels Fishing. And, and I just got home a few minutes ago and I pulled up under my carport and I looked and I saw something and I was so glad to see. I ain't lying. Hold on, let me go get this. I gotta show y'all this. I'll be right back. Ew, hold on, girl. This bad boy right here. I've been waiting for this for about a week now. Time for another unboxing. All right, folks, for those of you who watch my videos, you probably even know what's in this box and why I had to purchase it. And for those of you that don't, story is two weeks ago, I was out fishing. Got rolled in the surf, lost some fishing equipment, just broke two of my rods, not a big deal. The biggest thing that was a loss was I lost my sonar which I had been running a Helix 5 from Hummingbird for about two and a half years. It had been a good unit. Honestly, I was thinking about upgrading, but I was going to keep the Hummingbird and put it on the Outback that's sitting over here. Actually, now that's not an option because it looks like this. <laughs> now that's funny. I'm sure that ain't supposed to be like that. How in the world did... Look at that. Waterproof my ass. Well, obviously that isn't gonna work anymore. So I went ahead and did some research and decided on a new sonar system. And that's what we got in the box right here. And we're gonna do a good old, old fashioned unboxing real quick here. Oh, missed. Hey, Ooh, bubbles. It's another box. Oh, come on, get out of there. All right, where's the top of this thing? Right, label, oh, there it is. It is the HDS Carbon 7 from Lawrence. Structure scan 3D kit. <laughs> Needless to say, I went overboard like I tend to do a lot of times on buying stuff. This is probably way overkill for a kayak, but honestly, I don't care. The other one served me well for two years. Let's see what we got in this one. Well, let's do the lightest first. What is this? It's a little teeny transducer. Look at that thing. Yeah, it's tiny. I wonder why I need two. Huh. Anyway, what is this? Structure Scan 3D. Let's see what we got in here. A bunch of stuff. Good land. Boxed up neatly. We have cable. I guess that looks like a power cable. Instructions. More instructions. A mount, I guess, for the transducer. Ooh, look at that thing. Now that's a transducer. Look at that bad boy. That thing is huge. God, the cable is thick too. Good Lord. So we got serial cable, I guess. What's this here? Looks like a couple different mounting options. A little pack of hardware. Uh, no world. A little bling right there. I guess you get two choice of colors. I think that actually goes here on top of the mount. This is like the transom mount for the back of a boat. I guess you can choose two different colors of what you want to put on there. And what we got here, good Lord, more. Looks like a fuse holder, pretty much. And a wire, a through hole, like wire grommet thingy, I think that is, right there. What is this? Good God, that thing is huge. This is the 3D module that gives you the structure scan 3D view. Sure, this thing is waterproof. You know, I didn't even think to check that. All right, that's one box there. All right, what's in this one here? This is the actual depth finder itself, right there. This thing here. And Ooh, there she is. 
Oh, damn. That's smaller than I was expecting. Huh. Nice little tight fitting cover. Actually, that's not much bigger than the Helix that I had. Check it out. Touch screen, seven inch display. It's pretty nice. Hmm. What else is in here? Okay, we got the mount for the sonar. Of course, that goes back here like so, and mounts it. And power cable for this unit. And more. Man, that's a lot of stuff to hook up. And a sticker. Did I get a sticker? Oh, Lawrence sticker. Ooh, bubbles. Oh, sorry, I get distracted. Um, and a good God, that's a thick book. The size of that book. Thing's huge. And more stuff in here. This is C map. Lawrence. Dr. Sonar, yeah, you know, that crap. Anyway, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I just say that's quite a bit of stuff, honestly. I got my hands full looking this one up, it looks like. So basically it consists of the sonar here. It's the main component, of course. The 3D module here, which gives you the unique view that Lawrence offers, the 3D view. Of course, the structure scan 3D system that hooks up under the boat. And this is actually going to mount underneath the kayak to an existing mount that I found in here. I'll show you guys that in a second. Pretty much this is the setup right here. I want to have to check on why they sent this other sonar. Actually, I might go give them a call right now and see what's up with this. I'm a bit confused. All right, hey folks, so I'm pretty stoked. This is kind of an excessive system for a kayak, I do admit, but you know what? You only live once, so screw it. You might as well buy something you're gonna love. And I definitely know I ain't gonna be disappointed in this bad boy right here, especially with the capabilities that the 3D structure scan is gonna give it. That view of being able to control that screen and pan and tilt it around and look at it in that 3D perspective, that will definitely help you out on the water, I think, to be able to see where the bait is oriented and how that structure you're seeing inside scan actually is. That 3D view is just awesome. If you ain't ever seen it, definitely go on Lawrence's website and check it out. I did call Lawrence uh, just now, actually, and ask them about the other transducer here, the smaller one that they sent me. And their story on this is that Structure Scan 3D transducer, which is this massive one right here, only does the side scan, down scan, and the 3D imaging. It doesn't do traditional sonar. And it also, if I'm not mistaken, doesn't give a temperature reading, which is why they throw in this little guy right here to give you your traditional sonar picture and also to give you your temperature readings. So I have to mount two sonars on my kayak. I wasn't aware of this. Luckily, this one is so tiny, I think I can hide it up where the skeg goes underneath the kayak and never know it's there. As far as mounting this one right here, y'all might think, holy sh, that's a big ass transducer. And yeah, it definitely is. It's gonna be sticking down below the kayak. Some of you may freak out about that, but my other setup on my Hummingbird, which let me grab it and show you. All right, so this is the setup right here. I have been rocking on my kayak for the last three years. This is the transducer for the Helix 5. I basically took the stock plate and cut it and kind of fab my own light rigged up mount right here. And it sticks down that far below the kayak. And it has been like that for you know, three years now of use. You can definitely see us taking some scratches and stuff. I mean, I've drugged this thing across rocks, up numerous beaches, trailer it all the time. It's fine, it didn't hurt it. So any of you guys scared to do this, don't worry about it, it can take it, it's fine. But this one here is a whole lot bigger. Now they do, Lawrence makes a plate that you can get from Austin Kayak for their total scan transducer, I believe it's called. This one supposedly won't work with it. I did some looking around and I almost didn't order this system because of that, but then I found this company here called Burley Pro. They are online and they have a website and they specialize in accessories for kayaks, mainly the Hobies. And they make a bunch of mounting systems like this one right here to open this up and show y'all. It comes with a plate that goes in place of your dock transducer mounting plate. It comes with stainless steel hardware. And basically the new transducer, the cable's gonna pass through the hole of course, and it's gonna mount up pretty much like that. 
And the cool thing is as well is they also send this cover right here, which goes like that pretty much. And once you bolt it all together, this actually covers the uh, transducer and protects it. I was a bit skeptical about this, but all the reviews for this company online have been stellar. They said this little plate here does not affect the side imaging or down imaging at all. And there were so many reviews online about guys who said they had beat the crap out of this thing and they have not heard it and they wouldn't hesitate to buy another one. I mean, for 49 bucks, it's pretty much the same price as the OB option. So I'm gonna try it and see how it works. So anyway, I got plenty to do, obviously. I got all these wires to run, modules to hook up. I'm gonna probably put this thing here in a dry box just to protect it. Looks kind of important, actually. And pretty much just wait for my mount to come in and get this thing out on the water, see it does. So there you go. The HDS Carbon 7 with structure scan unboxing. Peace, guys.